Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I just did a, a colorful eyeshadow look with just basic makeup. If you guys want to see how I did this, just keep on watching. So right here I'm using my Maybelline New York Master Primer. I don't know why I keep using this stuff. I really don't like it at all. It's just too sticky and just rubs my skin the wrong way. But it's the only primer I could find, so I just used it. And now I'm going with the Mario Better School Facial Spray with Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. And um, now I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and Chestnut. And I just used that all over my face with my Beauty Blender, just blend it all in. <clears throat> Then I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and Maple. I picked it under my eyes, my forehead, and all that. And this uh, concealer is really good. It's really thick and it covers up all your dark marks. Everything you want to hide, it's going to cover it up. So this stuff is good. So I recommend this stuff. And then for my highlight, I'm using the uh, Maybelline New York Instant Age rewind eraser treatment and it's in honey nail and I'm using that for my highlight and this stuff if you guys don't want to use get that high concealer just use this one this kind is really good and it's really cheap and it covers up your dark marks too so this stuff is really good and it's like um it's a uh it's a it's an age rewind so it's really better for your skin than the other stuff so yeah, and this stuff, it just melts in your skin. It's really good. I like this stuff. And next thing I'm using is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick. And it's in chestnut. And this stuff is really thick, so just use a little bit of it because you use too much. It's going to um, make you look too dark. So yeah, I use too much in this video. But yeah. So I'm just blending that all in on my forehead, my cheeks, and all that. And now I'm going in with my Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte Par Poreless Translucent Powder. And this translucent powder is really good too. If you don't want to use the Sasha, the Sasha's or the Laura's and all them, just get this stuff. This stuff is cheap too. It works just as good. You don't have no flashback. So if you don't have enough money to buy that, you don't want to buy it, just use this kind. This kind is just as good. So, yeah. And it gives you a perfect glow, too. Girl, you better get you some. So, yeah. This stuff's really good, too. I like this stuff. So, yeah. I'm just, um, highlight. I mean, not highlight. I'm just, um, using translucent powder. And then, I'm um, using the Sasha Buttercup translucent powder for, uh, for my con to fix up my contour. Now, I'm, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip. Dip brow pomade and chocolate. I'm just uh, carving out my eyebrows with that. And this is what I use on my eyebrows every day. I know I need to get my eyebrows threaded, but yeah, uh, I, don't, I need to get them done. But yeah, I'm just going in with that. And do not come for me for my wig. I know it looks kind of crusty because I used the Gots to Be gel on it. So just don't cover me for that. It looks better at the end. Like it looks really good at the, better at the end. This is Yummy Hair Extensions. I had made it in a wig. I think I did good for my first time too. So don't come for me for that. And um, I used the LA Girl Concealer. I know it's way too light. It's way too light. But it's the first thing I just grabbed. But I did blend it out good. So you can't even tell it's too light. And it's in the, uh, it was in the color Warm Sand. So I know it was way too light for me. And I just blended that out. And now I'm using the Sephora Micro Smooth uh, Mahogany mahogany uh micro smooth powder and i'm just just dusted the uh translucent powder off with that and now i'm using my um aesthetica contour series powder tan the dark they don't have any names for the color so i'll just tell you guys what i used i used the first row and i used the uh the color at the end of the first row and i used the second row um the first uh the first one the first contour at the second row. So I use both of those. I hope you guys can understand that. But yeah, I'm just going in with those. Just blending it in. I'm just blending those in. 
And then right here I use the um what is this? I use the Too Faced, Too Faced Dark Chocolate Bronzer. And I just use that all over my face. I like a lot of contour because my face is fat and I like to slim it down a little. So yeah, I'm just dancing and stuff in my video. But yeah, I'm just contouring some more. And I went back in with the spray. Because if you do not, if you don't look cakey, make sure you use, uh, use the spray. You gotta use about two, three, four times. Make sure you use it if you don't want to look cakey. But yeah, now I'm going in with the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. I like to put mascara on my eyebrows. It makes it look even pop more, make it look even better, make it look just snatched. I like using that. I just like using mascara on my eyebrows. It just makes it look so good. And now I'm just contouring again. I know I told you guys I like to contour a lot. Slim down my face. And I sprayed my face again because I don't want to look cakey. And I'm just um, patting it all on my skin. Now I'm going in with the um, the NYX. Oh, what is this? NYX blush. And it's in the color pinch. Now I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome Molten Rose Gold. And I really do like this highlighter too. Like it's really pretty. It glistens and it's so light. Everything. I really like this stuff. And I'm putting it on my cheeks and my forehead. And just uh, eyebrow. In the corner of my eyebrow. And in the, uh, the corners of my um, eyes. And now I'm going in with the Maybelline cover two liner I like this stuff but it dries out too quick so it's not worth buying but it does give you a good um give you a good um oh my gosh what am I trying to say it gives you a good um when you're trying to do your uh, um your little angel wing like it, you, know, you can get that with this stuff but it's not worth buying this is my sick one I bought and it's already dried out you can't tell in the video but yeah it's already dried out so, I would buy a better, um, better liner. And right here, I'm going in with my crown case palette, and it's the color orange. Just going in in my corners of my eyebrow. I mean, not my eyebrow, my um. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm just going in with the orange. And I'm going in with a uh, violet. I'm just blending that in. And I'm blending that in on my other eye too. And this crown case, I really do like it. Like the colors show up really good. Like I like the crown case. I like it. It has all the colors too, and you can just create any look with it. And this look, I just came up with the top of my head. Like, I didn't test it out or anything. I'm just blending in the violet. And now I'm going in with the blue. I just put the blue at the bottom of my, um, uh, on my eyelid. I use my finger instead of the brush. Because it, uh, blended better with my finger. And the lashes I'm using is uh, lashes by Miss Kiss. I got these lashes off Amazon. Well, at first I had used the uh, the Lily Lashes um, Nikonos, however you pronounce it, and I didn't, they were getting they were getting old, so I just took those off and I switched it with the lashes, the Miss Kiss lashes. Now I'm going in with the, uh, what color did I use? Going in with the baby blue under my eyes. And then I went in with the violet too.
I think I did really good on this makeup look. Like I really liked it. Like I haven't did a eyeshadow like eyeshadow look like this before. I really like it. It looks tropically and this it's just really pretty. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you like the look, make sure you thumbs up. Thumbs up or like like the video. Or share. And now I'm going in with my um Maybelline lipstick euphoria. And yeah. So this is the end of the video, guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.